Welcome back to LYIT. If you were with us earlier, we're just getting underway here in the first of the Champions Trophy semi-finals. It's Temple O taking on UCD Mario. Uh, Marion, sorry. And, uh, Dustin Moreira opens the score for UCD. I'm joined for this one by Jimmy Ward. Jimmy, an exciting game in prospect. Yeah, absolutely. After two relatively slow games earlier on, this should be a cracker of a game. Both teams match up quite well. A lot of shooters, a lot of athletic players on the floor for both teams. Temple of course, league champions as Neil Vandoff missed the early shot and rebounded by Kinnevan. He'll look to push the pace for UCD as Mike Gow slips on the floor but regains his foot in. Kinnevan drive into the centre, bounce drum. Drum for long two doesn't go and it's rebounded by Randolph. What kind of what kind of pace can we expect to see from the two teams? Yeah, both teams have bigs but very mobile bigs and I think looking at the floor here Temple Oak probably would have a bit more athleticism but UCD won't be found wanting. Uh, Mike Garrow, very athletic player, if he gets going he can be hard to manage. Yeah, big score Mike Garrow when he gets going but Temple Oak have plenty of scores themselves. Conamini on the ball here inside to Moera. Kinnevan from the corner for two. That short well rebounded by Moera and we have our first foul of the game. Neil Randolph pick up two and Jimmy, I suppose a, a surprise straight off the bat, Mike Bonaparte not starting to puff summer starting. Is, is there an injury? Have you heard anything? No, I haven't heard anything, but it could be a case maybe perhaps on Mark Keenan thinking ahead if, if this game was to go Temple Oaks way that they'd have a, a fresher mic for tomorrow if they're playing either a Swords or Trulli, so, uh or maybe it's just maybe a matchup call early on to see what happens. Meany from the corner for three, and that's a big first shot for Conor Meany and something that UCD are going to need to make threes in order to, in order to stay in the game. Yeah, absolutely. They need need Connor to be hitting shots early on, especially with Dan James sitting on the bench there, uh, not suited up. So Jason goes for two. Colleen inside his first two of the game. Long pass to Garrow, and there we see UCD's fast break working in full effect there as they take the lead seven to two and a good start from UCD early in the game. Yeah, and you get a, Mike Garrow's a player you cannot afford to let him leak out in a fast break. There's no way you'll catch him. Randolph for three, and Neil Randolph knocks down his first three of the game and. He's been one of the most consistent three-point shooters in the league this year. Kinnaman drives baseline, tries to find Garrow, but well picked off by Lorcan Murphy. Murphy on the fast break. Moera does enough to slow him down, and good defense from Dustin Moera. And again, Mike Garrow has leaked down the court. He'll pull it back for three over James. That one bobbles out, and Lorcan Murphy jumps above the backboard. He pulls down the rebound. Randolph slows things down. James inside, but Moira, good defense on Colleen. Stephen James, a little bit off with his pass. Yeah, probably should have waited for Colleen to get position first before he popped it in there, because Moira's quite long and can reach across on any dodgy passes, that's it. This time they do get it into Colleen. Shot clock at six. Randolph gets his three off, is short, and rebounded by Barry Drum. A lot of speed from UCD with Kinnevan and, and Barry Drum. Yeah, and even Conor Meany there. Looks like the UCD are going to try and take the tempo from, Kin from Temple Oak, rather, and force mistakes, but Puff Summers comes up with a steal there. A lot of contact <laughs> before foul was eventually called, and it's gone against Kinnevan. Of course, UCD were the first team to beat Temple Oak this year in the league in the second of their Super Series matchups. And in that one, it was very much the up and down pace as Summers takes his first jump shot. Kinnevan to Meany. Meany backs off, waits for the screen from Moreira. Good defense, Temple Oak, but Mike Garrow. Gets the lane and go with a beautiful finish for two. Yeah, and down low, Randolph has done a great job on defending Moyara, forcing him out of getting position there, but Garrow just cut from the top down and put it in with a nice finish. Three for Murphy, and beautiful three from Lorcan Murphy, something that he's added to his game this year, along with the highlight dunks. Murphy. 
Vini looks to curl. Spin against Randolph. Moera open from the elbow. And Dustin Moera with a nice two. And uh, Jimmy, both teams have started off nicely offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams at a nice, a nice pace. Good shooting percentage. They're taking good shots as well, though, man. Nothing forced, nothing silly. This game will be a game to be decided in the first quarter, and it'll be down the stretch. But nice move by Stephen James. The basket doesn't get it a fault. Kidman looks to create something for UCD. Back out to Meany. Great pass from Meany to Moera. Beautiful pass from Conor Meany on the break. So as we get halfway through this first period, it's 13 to 8, Colleen, 13 to 10 as Colleen adds to his tally for Temple Oak. Yeah, when Jason gets positioned down low like that, Matt, there's little you can do if he gets the ball in there. Nice screen and roll, but miscommunication on the defence. Pass from Kinnevin, but Meany can't finish, but it's foul, and we'll go to the line for two shots. As we have subs coming in, so here comes Mo Mike Bonaparte. And also Ronan Malachlan for Temple Oak as they substitute first. So two shots for Konamini. A good tempo game so far, Matt, from both teams. Both pushing the floor fast. Yeah, the previous two games in the Super Series, both high scoring games, 88, 82 and 89, 80, but the tempo was really what made them an exciting, exciting games. Both teams had good runs, got good leads, but it was an exciting game. Hopefully this one seems to have started off similar with a nice tempo to the game as Meany makes that second one. Inside clean, again uses size, but this time can't finish. But good rebound for Murphy. Murphy misses, then Colleen misses. And seems to be a lid on the basket at the moment. Yeah, UCD won't be happy with giving away three offensive rebounds in a row there in one possession. As and the offensive foul called on Colleen. As he just pushes off as he gets the rebound. But again, that foul was maybe because they missed a few easy ones that ended up with a foul there. Yeah, kind of frustration calls there. And in fairness, the refs are letting a lot of contact go here, so. So 14-11, 4.30 to go. Kinnaman with the ball at the top of the key for UCD Marion. Meany waits for Gower to come off the screen. Gower called for the travel as he spins and takes the extra step. Bit of full court pressure from Barry Drum. In the hands of Stephen James. McLaughlin, top of the key. Finds James, but nowhere to go with tight defense from Kinnivan. Bonaparte, his first jump shot of the game. Banks that in nicely to open his account. Yeah, Stephen James, great composure there, not rushing anything. Found Mike there, wide open for the bank. Not quite sure what's going on the scoreboard. It's changed a few times there. I mean, they seem to have settled at 14-12. Kinnevan. Nice pass from Kinnevan. And Moera finishes inside nicely. And uh, UCD have found a nice rhythm of getting Dustin Moera open inside there at the moment. They have, absolutely. And, and that's the second time there's a bit of confusion in the defence from Temple Ogus where they're switching, but they're not switching to help. There. As Murphy picks up the charge there, taken by Conor Meany. And it's something they'll have to address a timeout, perhaps, maybe. And as you say that, Coach Mark Keenan calls a timeout for Temple O, so they'll talk it over as UCD leads 16 to 12.
Welcome back. 3.24 to go in this first quarter. It's UCD Marion leading league champions Temple Oaks 16 to 12. And an offensive foul called on Konamini for the back screen. Yeah, he kind of plowed it in the back. He just cleaned there and he knew he did it himself. He'd hand up straight away. Yeah, we've had a scoreboard change during that timeout, so it's gone to 17-12. Not quite sure what's going on with that, but Murphy for his second three. This one's short, rebounded Garrow. Kinnivan off on the fast break. Good hands from Bonaparte, slows things down. Garrow back to Kinnivan. Kinnivan calls for the screen for Moreira. Finds a bit of space, finds... Barry Drum in the corner, that one's off though, and rebounded by Stephen James, who has Murphy and Bonaparte in front of him. Nice pass to Murphy, but just comes off the leg of Bonaparte. But Lorcan Murphy does a great job of grabbing it, and up and under, and another athletic finish from Lorcan Murphy, something we've become accustomed to over the last two seasons. Yeah, he's a solid player, he steps around you there, even if there's five or six yards to make up, he gets there, very active, great finish there. And the scoreboard's changed again, Jimmy. We're back to 16-14, not quite sure what they're doing down there, but I hopefully now we've the, the right score. Kinnivan, long two. Stephen James back to Bonaparte, Bonaparte for three. Yeah, and there's a great battle going on between Killeen and Miora there out there on the floor. Matt fighting for position, even the ball's not going in, they're both working exceptionally hard. Nice pass inside the Gow, but Bonaparte does enough to put them off. And a foul's called in the open court there before Murphy got a chance, and it's gone. I think it's gone on Kinnivan, which will be his second if it is. No, not sure who it went, but it's the first as subs coming in. And Matt Kelly will check in for the first time, and Barry Drum will take a break. Stephen James finds a bit of space. Murphy inside to Killeen, who's deep. Nice finish from Killeen, and that ties the game. And on that note, as the game's tied, 16 all, UCD Marion will take a quick timeout. So 140 to go, we're tied at 16. UCD Marion for three through Konamini. And Mini makes back-to-back -back three pointers. And out of the timeout, Jimmy Templo in a zone. First time we've seen that for the day. What, what's the thinking behind that, do you think? I'd say probably just stopped. They were getting caught on this pick-pick and roll there, Matt. They were hedging her too far and then they weren't dropping off and helped early enough. 
and getting caught as Conor Meaney picks off a, an errant pass there, looks to run the floor, has Jason all the basket, neat pass behind, but... He's had good numbers, but couldn't find a teammate, but it will remain UC Marion Ball from Pro the end line. Probably could look to put that up himself off the glass there. I think he had Jason far enough behind him, but nice step through for Meany again. And we'll have a pause as the ball is firmly stuck on the top of the backboard. I'd say Lorcan could probably get that if he wanted to. <laughs> he could. Big money here on Stephen James getting a second ball stuck up there. This could go on for a while. Some of the best shooting we've seen all day here, man. <laughs> well. <laughs> hey. There's always pressure from the crowd as well when you're doing something like that. They're everyone's looking at you. Yeah, better off staying out of that one. One minute to go in this first quarter. Eusti Marion with a slender three-point lead. Colleen inside, misses the easy one, but grabs his own rebound and makes no mistake second time round. And we're back to a one-point lead. Yeah, Jason padding his own stats there. Decided he wanted an extra rebound. Good finish the second time. Darrell drives baseline. Good defense from James, and it's out of bounds off his leg as Paul Cummins will check in for the first time for McLaughlin and so get there in time which he does Ben Warrington also checks in for Colleen give Colleen an extended break at the end of the quarter shot clock at 10 Kinnivan Finds a bit of space, Moera from the foul line. Doesn't get that one, and Bonaparte will grab the rebound. A chance to take the lead here for Temple Oak. James, nice move from James, all the way to the bucket. And Temple Oak take the lead for the first time in the game. Yeah, and great decision by Cummins there, not to force a shot just into the game. Cole there, hit the streak, and James hit the basket. So Kinnaman checks the clock. Ten seconds. Going to the end of this first quarter, use the screen for Moreira. Meany finds a bit of space, nice pass to Garrow. Garrow goes up against Bonaparte, and this time he's able to finish. And right on the buzzer, so at the end of the first quarter of this Champions Trophy semi-final, it's Eusti Marion that leading by a point, 21 to 20. So welcome back, we're back underway in the first of the Champions Trophy semi-finals. It's UCD Marion leading by a point as Michael Bonaparte is fouled. And Jimmy, 
close first quarter, both teams got into their scoring, but with either side be happy or is it very much uh, as the score line suggests at the moment? I think it's pretty much as the score line suggests. Like both teams are fighting for uh, fighting to get a, a control of the tempo of the game. It's been up and down. Both teams are making mistakes, but uh, at the same time, defence is good on both sides. And Stephen James gets back-to-back -back baskets for Temple Oak, and they retake the lead, 23-21. Anthony Silvest has checked in for Marion. Another three-point shooter, Kelly, for three. Tries to answer, doesn't get it. Rebounded by James and Bonaparte leaked out, but good job of getting back by Kelly and Kinnivan inside to Bonaparte. Interest as well, Matt, that Mark Keenan feels he can probably rest Jason for a little bit here as the five he has on the floor. He probably feel happy to contain UCD, perhaps. Kinnivan finds Silvest inside. Lot of contact, but not called. And Logan Murphy goes up. And Dunks, I don't know, Jimmy, I'm a little bit disappointed, I have to say, considering what we have seen Logan do, but he'll take the two points, probably saving it for later in the game. Nah, that's exactly it. You can hear the crowd kind of here going like, ooh, expecting it, but uh, he played it safe. Yeah, if you've been watching a lot of Super League basketball this year, you'll have seen a lot of, a lot of uh, amazing Dunks. Murphy this year. And when you're accustomed to exciting dunks like that, when you see a, a one-hander, which is still very impressive, we tend to judge saying, oh, no, it's not exactly what we wanted. Kinnivan pulls up from the foul line for two. Nice jump shot from Kinnivan, and, and that kind of shot from Kinnivan is something that UCD will require in order to get them out. It's Bonaparte quickly gets down the court and answers the Temple Oak. Yeah, and for UCD, there they, they can't afford that Mike there shoot a shot, chase down his own rebound, and make a layup off it. Like you gotta, you gotta close that out early. Make sure he doesn't get back on the ball after he missed a shot like that. James with a steal from a bad pass from Kelly. Hampton outside Cummins, his first three of the game. Takes no time in warming up, and Coach Leah Packer sprints to the table to call a timeout as Temple Oak have taken a seven point lead, 30 to tw uh, 23. So welcome back, seven point lead there for Temple Ogan. Jimmy, what will uh, what will UCD and Coach Leopak be talking about here after going down seven points from being tied? Yeah, Temple Ogan have gotten slightly smaller in the lineup here and they're actually a faster team down the floor. They'll be looking to stop Mike Bonaparte from getting in the game, uh, stop second chance opportunities here. While Temple Ogan will continue to try and push the tempo down the floor, get good shots off it, as UCD are tending to collapse very quickly inside. Missed shot from Cummins this time. Mike Gowers checked back in for Anthony Silvestre. And both teams match in the first quarter there, both on 10 rebounds each. Temple Oak slightly better on the offensive glass with two more offensive rebounds than UCD, but evenly matched from the first. Neil Baines has checked in as well for the first time to give a little bit more of an inside presence. Nice move from Gower, but fantastic block from Bonaparte as he times it to perfection. Murphy cross court pass was tipped and it will remain Temple Oak ball.
Bone apart for a long two. Goes short. Gow rebounds into the hands of Kinnivan. Kinnivan finds Drum. Gow this time decides to pull up for the jump shot. But that one's away. Good hands from Kinnivan. Gets the loose ball. But again, Bonaparte times the block to perfection. And Temple Oak have three versus two here as they find Cummins. Nice pass from Cummins inside to Bonaparte with a fall away jumper. <laughs> Murphy very nearly gets the dunk the first time, but he does the second time. Yeah, and Temple Oak are kind of all over UCD now on both ends of the floor, Matt. And you see Dustin Moera getting ready to check back in below us. Try and stop this rot. Kelly puts the ball on the floor. Garrow. Might Garrow struggle a little bit early on to find his normal score in touch. A few balls just not quite going for him. Yeah, he just needs to stick with it though. Like in fairness, Temple Oak are doing a good job of defending him. That They're pushing him into tough shots there. He's having to put the ball on the floor to get awkward angles on the shot there. But uh, he's a solid player, as you said before. He can go off. It might be the second quarter, it might be the third quarter, but he's still good for a run of eight or ten points. Yeah, in the, when they defeated Temple Oak, he made a huge three when UCD looked dead and buried. He said he can score any point drum for three. They need this. Doesn't go. Rebounded by Paul Cummins. And Alan O'Neill has checked in as well for Temple Oak. And here he is in the corner. So far today, UCD really reliant on the outside threat of Conor Meany. And when I'm off the floor, you just feel that they don't have that at the minute. Harrington misses inside. Uh, Warrington, sorry. Dustin Moyer. And again, at the moment, nothing going for UCD. They've gone four minutes without scoring here. And Temple Oga have built up a five point, uh, nine point lead. O'Neill for three. That one threatens to go in and bounces away. And UCD desperately in need of a score here. Temple Oak aren't in the mood for giving up anything easy as Drum. Drum makes a nice two yeah, off the they, dribble. They really need that there, Matt, just to steady them a little bit on offense. Bonaparte to James. James, ball on the floor. Floater from Stephen James doesn't go. Rebounded Garrow. Kinnivan looks to push, gets past Bonaparte and try and go all the to the basket. A nice two from Scott Kinnivan. And this time it's Temple Oak's turn to stop the run with a timeout. As they lead... 32 to 25, 27, sorry. So welcome back, 4.45 to go in this second quarter. Clean back in for Temple Oak as Cummins misses the three. Moera with the rebound. Kinnivan has Garrow streaking down the right, finds Meany, who's given him a, had a good rest on the bench there, but Garrow, again, a little astray. But Jimmy, uh, UCD are threatened to be out of the game for a little bit there, but they've come right back into it, only trailing five now. Yeah, absolutely. The five-point lead here is not a whole lot, but 
And Temple Oak, like, they don't look 100% settled either on offense there. They are getting players in and out on the floor, but both, both teams guilty of a couple of turnovers, I say. Meany comes off the little curl at the bottom. That's so does Gower inside to Moera. Colleen with the hand up. Five seconds on the shot clock. Baines has to get it up, just does get it up in time. And Stephen James tips out of bounds. Temple Oak doing a good job, Matt, of bumping them curls. You see Mike Garra coming there, he's not getting on the ball easily. Good defense from Colleen. Pushes Garra back, misses the shot, and it's still a five point lead. And both teams struggling to score a little bit in the second quarter. Colleen, top of the key. Seven seconds on the shot clock, O'Neill for three. Doesn't go, rebound Garrow, gets it to Kinnevin. Kinnevin finds Meany, Meany with a beautiful pass inside to Garrow. Great basketball for UCD. Yeah, great, great series of play there. Great vision from, from Meany there to pick off Garrow underneath the basket there. Back to a three-point game, just over three to go in this first half. Colleen being guarded by Gao, but good hands behind him. and A good foul from Alan O'Neill just slows down the fast break as UCD were off to the races with numbers. And Andrew Silvestri will check back in for Mike Gao, who hasn't quite found the form we're used to seeing, but a long way to go, and as you said, normally finds a time to start scoring. Yeah, yeah, we've three minutes left in the second here. We have a whole big half of basketball left, so... I'd say at the minute, Yana's probably not too worried. But uh, we'd still prefer to see Mike knocking down a few shots. Paul Cummins takes the rest and Lorcan Murphy checks back in. For Temple Oak, Meany. Somehow finds, gets it inside to Silvestri, but Bonaparte with a steal. Great save into the hands of Stephen James. Bonaparte finds Murphy. Murphy, long two from the corner, short. Good tip from Moreira out of the hands of Colleen. And again, UCD. Meany, nice pass inside to Baines. Neil Baines can't find the touch. Sylvester keeps it alive. Yeah, that's, that's a tough shot from Baines there, Matt. Probably didn't need that. Had Meany outside, he could kick it back out to him. Yeah, a lot of hands in there for Temple Ogan. Foul call. And Kinnevin, I think that will be his second. Neil Randolph, who's at a good rest, comes back in for Alan O'Neill. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Murphy finds Clean under the basket. Nice move from Colleen. Creates the contract from Silvestri, and he'll go to the line for two shots. Yeah, Jason knew what he was at there. Wasn't going to rush it. Um, three or four seconds left before he put it up, but took the contact and would shoot two. And I'm really afraid to say he's a good free throw shooter, which I know he is, given the runner look I've put on players so far today. He gets you out of trouble there. Yeah, Jason, my man, he got me back on that one. Two for two from Colleen, 34-29, two minutes to go in this first half. Don't forget, still to come, six o'clock tip-off. Swords Thunder versus Trulli Warriors in the second of the Champions Trophy semi-finals. Sylvester for three, doesn't go, rebound of Colleen. And then eight o'clock tip-off will be the Women's Super League playoff finals. Ambassador UCC Glanmire and Courtyard Lippy Celtics. A foul called on James. Slows down Conamini on the break. Yeah, it was probably a, a clever enough foul there as well because UCD, at the minute, doing they're getting baskets when they're breaking the basket in transition, or as a struggle against Temple Ogun in the, in the set offense here. So Kinnevin guarded by 
Murphy. Turn the shot clock. UCD have stalled a little bit here. Seconds, six seconds of the shot clock. Meany for a deep three in and out. And that very much looked like it came off Temple O, but it's gone. UCD way. Yeah, a little wry smile on Randall's face there would insinuate it didn't come off him, but. So five point lead for Temple Oak. This time it's UCD's turn to sit in his own. Colleen inside, but good hands. And UCD have numbers here. Kinnivan against Randolph. Somehow ends back up in the hands of Kinnivan. Meany for three. That one's gone short. And this time it will not stay UCD ball. It's gone to Temple Oak again. Referee David Kabaya insinuating to you just want players flopping on initial contact, I'm guessing. So, slow, slow score in quarter. It was 21-20 at the end of the first, and with under a minute to go in the second. UCD only eight points in the quarter. It was Stephen James rebounds a missed shot from Templer. Is it good defense or bad offense that's kept this scoring down in this quarter? Uh, both teams are guilty of misses here and there, Matt, but I think it's more a case of defenses have tightened up a bit because both coaches would be aware that, like, given the history of these teams so far this year, that a, a 10 or 12 point lead could be significant going down the stretch of the game, so they're going to want to keep it tight. Meany, 30 seconds to go. Finds a bit of space, tries to find Baines but can't. And a foul called. It's not in team fouls yet. That will be the four. So it will be sideline ball to Temple Ogan. A chance with 24.9 seconds to hold for the last shot. And I suppose as Paul Cummins checks back into the game, I suppose both coaches will be fairly happy in the fact that no matter what happens in this last play, both teams will still be in with a chance going into the second half. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Both teams, both coaches will also know they have a major game in their hands coming out in the second quarter, though, Matt. So while they'll both be relatively happy going in, they'll want improvement from both sides. And Mark Keenan would probably be the happier given his team's display on defense. And the fact that out rebound UCD on, on that moment, Mike has picked off. Turnover for Moreira all the way to the hoop. And the best possible finish of the half as Randolph gets that three off, however, doesn't go. So a great finish from UCD, but they'll go in behind as Temple Oak lead in the first half of this first Champions Trophy semi-final. Temple Oak leading 34 to 31.
So welcome back to LYIT up here in Letterkenny. Second half of the first semi-final of the Champions Trophy underway. It's Temple Oak leading UCD Marion by three. Make that one as Conamini opens the account for UCD. And Jimmy, all the play for going in the second half of the one-point game. Absolutely level playing field here again. Temple Oak start now with a very strong five here. Conamini made good effort down low to back down much taller Paul Cummins and make that shot. Kinnivan drops it for Moreira. Nice feed to Moreira. Moreira lays it up with his left hand. And quick as you like, UCD have gone back in front. Yeah, and Kinnivan's clever, Matt. You know yourself as a guard, makes the pass off, clears a bit of space for the big man there for the easy layup. Coming, starting the second half in place of Randolph. James gets into the lane, out to Bonaparte. He'll take a three over Kinnivan. Doesn't go, rebound Moreira. Kinnaman back out to Meany. Meany fakes the three. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Good defense from Cummins. Mike Garrow on the three-point line. And Mike Garrow, as we talked about in the first half, can score in bunches. He had a quiet first half, but starts the second half with a big three. Yeah, and Tableau will be careful now to make sure that's not the opening the account for him on the three-point line to keep track of it from now on. Next couple of minutes anyway. And the game of runs keeps continuing. First one team, then the other. Missed shot from Murphy inside. And Kinnivan finds Meany. Who in turn finds Garrow, short corner, guarded by James. Good defense from James, gives him nowhere to go. But Garrow eventually finds some space. Shot clock again, down to seven. Kinnivan with a long two. And Kinnivan makes his second jumper of the game. And a fast start for UCD in this second half as they lead by six. Yeah, and they have the pace of the game here, and Temple Oak could be in trouble if they don't match that, or at least stall the run here a little bit. Because Temple Oak are really rather looking to run every time they get the ball on the floor. James looks to break the duck. He doesn't, and it goes out of bounds. Tipped from Colleen, so a 9-0 run at the start of this second half, and coach Mark Keenan wants to talk it over as we have a timeout with UCD leading 40-34. So six-point lead for UCD Marion. Screen and roll, Moera and Kinnivan. Moera, two, doesn't go. Rebounded by Cummins. Tempelo we've seen all season long. Won't panic, obviously, with a lot of experience. But will they be looking to do anything differently after the, after the start of that quarter? Uh, they'll be looking to say, stop UCD from, from charging on the floor at them, control the pace of the game better. As you said before, Temple Oak are an experienced team. They know how to win, Matt. They're not going to panic on a, on a run like this. Mike Garrow picks up his first foul. Cummins for three off the screen. and Beautiful three-point shot from Paul Cummins. 
We're back to a three-point game. Kinnaman down the middle of the lane, gets all the way to the basket, rolls out and rebounded by James. And this time it's Temple O with numbers. Nice pass from Cummins to Bonaparte. And quick as that, it's back down to a one-point game. Conamini waits for Gower to come off the screen. Gower gets down the lane. A nice finish from Mike Gower and good start for the second half. Yeah, tough finish there for Garrow, but did well to control the body and make the basket. That's five in the first four minutes here of the third quarter. Cummins, nice pass, gets the ball back. Can't make that one, and the foul is called on Bonaparte. Again, does a good job of slowing down the break, though. They won't mind that too much. Three-point lead for UC Marion over the league champions, Temple Oak. Look at drives the champions trophy to their league title. Garrow for three. That one looked good, but ended up short. Rebounded by Clean and Bonaparte finds Cummins. And, uh, Murphy just steps out of bounds on the sideline. Yeah, late enough call there, Matt. I thought he was in the clear, but... Has to be said, Matt, but Kindervan and Meany very impressive at the guard spots for, for UCD today so far. Mike Higgins has checked in for UCD. When I know it's nice drop off from Kindervan, but Moreira can't finish that one. Higgins, another excellent C-point shooter, and that has been given to UCD. Tipped out of bounds, come off Bonaparte last. <laughs> Coach Mark Keenan just been given a ticking off from Dave Kabaye. Been reminded of his little box he's supposed to be in there. Us coaches don't like to be uh, contained like that sometimes. No, certainly not. And Gao, oh, well read from Bonaparte. As the roll from Moreira. And here comes Cummins all the way to the basket. And Murphy nearly puts in a tip jam. But Paul Cummins had a great start to the second half, really. You can see why Mark Keane has gone with the experience of him over Neil Randolph. Just the way he started the second half has been a, probably the main player in the start of the second half here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. As you were saying before, experience, that's exactly what it is, Matt. Gets to the right spots on the floor there. And that time up there, great defensive stop there. Or, or interception, rather, by Mike Bonaparte. In the first half, Temple Oak weren't do that, and they were getting hurt on the pick and rolls. But that time there, when they hedged out, Mike covered the middle and picked off the, the Steelers. Cummins misses both. Very uncharacteristic. Garrow finds Higgins off the screen. Moreira being guarded by Colleen. Tough fadeaway jump shot from Moreira. Yeah, any shot over Jason is a tough shot, man. Yeah. Jason will give no free easy baskets away. Cummins for three. Trying to make up for the missed free throws. He doesn't. Colleen, great rebound, and Colleen puts it back in. We're back to a one point game. 42 41. UCD Marion lead in the first of the Champions Trophy semi finals. Higgins comes off the curl, missed the shot, but Kinnevan gets the rebound, and Moera, everyone seemed to stop playing there, including the referees, I'm not quite sure. Well, the shot clock reset to 14 when it didn't hit the ring, and Puff Summers will check in for Michael Bonaparte. Yeah, and just in the last possession there, Matt Higgins a bit wild coming off that curl, putting up a shot he really didn't need to put up in such a hurry. With 10 seconds on the shot clock. Kinnevan jump shot off the screen and Scott's made three of those shots now and you know every team will be looking to go under those screens but when he's making those jump shots it makes it very difficult to guard. Yeah he, he's causing a lot of problems for, for Temple Oak there. He's, he's controlling the pace of the game, he's pushing on the floor fast and if you're saying it to step off him he's knocking down shots today. The foul has gone on Mike Garrow. Again a little bit too close to 
for comfort for Colleen. He's complaining he got an elbow, but I suppose that's what happens when you uh, get a bit too close to the big guys. That's exactly it. Colleen again, that out of bounds play to Cummins, but this time picked off by Conamini. Kinnevan all the way to the basket. Nice pass to Gao. No foul call, I think probably because Mike Gao pushed off with one arm. So it's probably a good call for a no call. Rebounded by Higgins to Kinnevan. And kind of an up and down here stretch. Matt, is both teams flying. That's a better shot from Higgins there, though. And the one thing Mike Higgins can do is hit three point shots. And it's back to a six point lead for UCD Marion. Murphy to Summers. Summers, fadeaway jump shot. Nice shot from Puff Summers. He gets his first two of the game. Just three minutes to go and offensive foul called on, I think on Conamini, did it go on, or was it on Meany in the end? It's actually on Dustin Moriera, I think there. He kind of caught, caught Lorca Murphy on the hip with a kind of a push out screen there. And so that's his second foul and Rhoda McLaughlin will check in for Paul Cummins. And Anthony Silvestri will check in for Mike Garrow. Garrow will be much more of an influence in this second half for UCD. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they cope with him now for the next maybe minute and a half, two minute stretches. Mike Higgins a little bit late getting across there and picks up the foul. Yeah, McLaughlin has gone very deep there. He possibly could have bailed him out there. And Higgins will be replaced by Neil Baines. But a good contribution for Higgins, knocking down that sweet. What he was there for, McLaughlin. Fresh off the bench, as Barry Drum is also looking to check in for UCD. The free throw's hard to come by still here, Matt. Even given the first two games, we thought teams struggled, but two top teams here also having a bit of hardship at the line. Hopefully it ends at McLaughlin. Airballing the free throw there. And Barry Drum does check in. And he'll place Conamini, who hobbles off the court. Been carrying an injury for a number of weeks now. So 2.50 to go, four point lead, UC Marion over Temple Oak. Still to come, GCD, Sword Thunder versus Trilly Warrior. Silvestra for three. That one bounced out, rebounded by Colleen. Also still to come, 8 p.m. tip-off for the Women's Super League playoff final. The foul is called on Kinnevan, and that will be two shots for Puff Summers as a penalty. Ambassador UCC Glanmire take on Courtyard Liffey Celtics, 8 p.m. So stay with us. Two fantastic games still to come today, and then the finals tomorrow, League Cup final between KCYMS, Cloglan. As Summers knocks down the first. And they'll take on BFG Neptune. And then it'll be the two Champions Trophy semi final winners play off in the final at 4 o'clock. And that'll be preceded by the Women's Division 1 playoff final, which will be ITC basketball from Carlo as Drum tries to. Find a little bit of space and Marble City Hawks. Sylvester for another three. That one bounces out again. Temple Oak will be happy, Matt. The last couple of offense UCD have had, they've been tough outside shots there. So if they can maintain that and continue to chip away at the, at the scoreboard here. Summers. Fade away two and timeout being called as the game is tied. Did he get the time he did? So we'll take a short break here, back with you shortly, 47 points apiece.
So welcome back. Tied at 47. The game of runs continues. Templo with the late one. Silvestri inside. Kicks it out to Drum. Drum will take a three. That one's off. And McLaughlin will grab the rebound. 1.30 to go in this third quarter. Tied at 47. Stephen James the three. That one's off short. But Murphy grabs the rebound. Seemed to go a long way without dribbling the ball there. But gets a two. And Templo regain the lead. Yeah, and Stephen James has been quiet today, scoring-wise, Matt. He's working very hard off the ball and setting up his teammates, but you'd still expect him to knock down a couple of shots because he's a knockdown shoe when he gets going. Extra pass, Kinnivan, long two. And Scott Kinnivan's good shooting day continues as he retires the game, 49 apiece, less than a minute to go in his third. And I love watching him shoot, Matt. It looks like he's on the way down when he's releasing that ball, but it's very effective today, anyway. Yeah, he's having a good game, Scott. Inside to clean. That one rebounds out, Matt Kelly. But the foul is called on McLaughlin. It's only Templo's second foul of the quarter. So 47, 41 seconds to go. And I suppose we're still in the same situation. Both coaches will be happy in with a chance of winning going into the final quarter. Yeah, absolutely there. And you'd, you'd even wonder if McLaughlin's foul there. Perhaps that's a, a tactic by Temple Oak to make sure that UCD don't get to run the floor, don't get a set of any five breaks. Kind of an elbow. Two. Doesn't go. Run short. And Summers, a couple of seconds difference on the shot clock and game clock. will hold it up. 14 seconds to go. We're tied at 49. Stephen James finds McLaughlin. But good defense inside, eventually falls now. We've got an offensive foul on Colleen, I think. Yeah, look, he tried to make a bit of space under the basket there, but Kibaya obviously disagreed with his methods, and it'll be Jason's second foul, I think, of the game. So it'll be UCD, Scott Kinnivan, seven seconds to go. Guarded by Summers. In the hands of Kelly, and Kelly is fouled right with 0.1 of a second to go and it'll be two shots he was on the way up yeah and that was a total bailout foul there i don't think he would have made that shot matt he hadn't even got the ball under control when he left the floor yeah coach mark Keane will be a little frustrated with that and kelly knocks down the first to ensure that ucd will start the final corner quarter of this champions trophy final with a lead and Esclean can make a full court shot which he nearly does so at the end of the third it's UCD Marion leading league champions Temple by 1.50 to 49.
So final quarter underway. Men's champion trophy, semi-final. Cummins loses the hand on the ball and Barry Drum is giving Scott Kinnevan a break here and Matt Kelly slows things down. And Jimmy, close game going in the four, fourth quarter. Stats-wise, what are we looking at? Uh, well, defensively, like rebound-wise, both teams are pretty evenly matched. Uh, on rebounds, Temple Oak shading at 35, 28 in total rebounds, but they have five more offensive boards than UCD have. But the turnovers matter where it's at. Temple Oak have six more turnovers than UCD, and that's probably what's keeping UCD in the game here, perhaps. Murphy, corner two, rebounded by Colleen. And a foul on the floor called. Difficult to stop Jason from there when he has position. Yeah, when he gets the ball down low there, if you're a smaller guard like Conor Mina, you want to duck your head in to make sure it stays on your shoulders. Both teams giving a few players a rest here. It's James on the corner for two. Bobbles in and out and rebounded by Kelly. Silvestro for a long two. Actually, call the three, doesn't go. Rebound by Stephen James. He has Murphy, who finds Cummins. Nice pass from Cummins to Murphy. But Murphy can't finish. No scores in the fourth quarter, a minute 20 in. Meany used the screen and roll. Nice move from Drum, gets all the way to the basket, fouled by Lorcan Murphy. It's a slow start to the game, but so we have a few players on the bench, so both coaches will be kind of, what kind of time will they look at before they start to go with their best five again? I'd say in a game like this, Matt, if it stays close like this, realistically, around the four minute mark, they'll probably put them in because you don't want to give, you don't leave it too long for your players to, to heat up again, get a couple touches of the ball early on and finish strong. So I'd say around the four, four, four minute, three and a half minute mark, you'd see all the starting five guys back in, I imagine. Drum misses that. Bonaparte taking a long rest for Tempolo, Garrow and Kinnevan down the other end and Dustin Moreira for UCD. We'll see who jumps first out of Coach Mark Keenan and Leah Coach Leah Packers as he's making a move below us. As Kinnevan coming back in. Inside Colleen. Colleen faces up. Short jump shot from Colleen and something that Jason's very, very good at making those short range jump shots. Difficult to stop him from that close in when he decides to shoot jumpers. Yeah, probably the only player that can defend him quite well on the floor for ECD is Moyer, and he's on the bench. Uh, Bain's a bit slow to go and try and stop Jason. Nice spin move from Meany inside. Doesn't go, but well tipped from Sylvester will give UCD another chance. Ten seconds on the shot clock now. UCD trail by a point. Nice pass inside, but Baines misses the, the short put back and rebounded by Colleen. Yeah, and that's, that's a great opportunity he missed by UCD. A great feed from Meany there to see Baines going to the basket, but they're gimmies, Matt. You've probably got to put them in. Three-pointer. Goes from Paul Cummins. And a four-point lead for Temple Oak as Mike Garrow is getting set to check in as well for Kinnevan with Kinnevan side and drum to Meany. Nice fake on the screen and roll, and Meany with a nice move and finish. Just avoids the outstretched hands of Colleen. We're back to a two-point game. Yeah, Meany has been very exciting and fun to watch playing today, Matt. He's really stepped up to the, to the play as Jason drops in a big three. Or two, rather, long He'll two. be disappointed there. He likes to talk about this three-point run he's on, but he stepped just on the line there. It's on your two. Barry Drum, long two, doesn't go. 6.37 to go. And Moreira as well, checking in for UCD. So at the next whistle, they'll be bringing all their big guns back in. Colleen, and Jason Colleen has really heated up in this final quarter. He's six quick points. And Coach Leah Packers will talk it over as Temple Oak with a six point lead, 58 to 52.
So 6.20 to go, six point lead for Temple Oak over UCD Marion. Kinnevan guarded by Summers. Garrow trying to get position, but great defense from James. Tips out of bounds, 12 seconds on the shot clock. Temple Oak switched to a zone. Inside Moreira. Kelly for three. In and out, looked good, but just a little short and rebound from Temple Ogan. A good chance for them to extend the lead with Bonaparte on the bench. Yeah, absolutely, Mark Keenan taking his time and pulling the trigger and putting Mike back in, but as we said during the timeout there, Matt, if, if they're willing to keep the lead, he'll, he'll happily keep him sitting, but you just feel UCD can still pinch back two or three baskets here in succession and get right back into this game. And Moreira missed the shot, grabs his own rebound, but trips over someone's foot. And very much so in the in the game that UCD did win in the in the Super Series. Around this point, it looked like UCD were dead and buried down six to eight points, something like this. And then a three from Mike Garrow, and they had the last run of the game. And it kind of suppose it's been a game of runs here. So it's, I guess the next run is going to be a big one. Do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it can go either way. Like, but UCD realistically do need to tack on at least two or three baskets here, so they're within touching distance in a game where scores haven't been that easy to come by. Um, with maybe a minute or two left in the game, they look to be closer than they are now at the minute. So Higgins has checked in for Kelly. That extra bit of shooting prowess from the three-point line for Coach Leopakis. Still Bonaparte waits. Murphy gets the ball on the run. Nice move from Larkin Murphy. Difficult to stop him when he gets up ahead of steam. Yeah, just heads in a little bit there at the back of that zone from UCD, and he's very strong going to the basket. Nice move from Kinnaman, but can't finish. Colleen finds Murphy on the break. Look out, and great finish from Murphy, and all of a sudden, 10-point lead for Temple Oak. And the run we talked about has come from then, and UCD desperately in need of a basket. Yeah, absolutely. You feel that if Temple Oak even tackle on another three, four points, this game is out of sight for, for UCD, but... Still 4.48 left, Matt. Still plenty of time and good shot from Meany there to keep it in check. Huge shot from Conor Meany as Temple Oak threatened to be out of sight. Still a seven-point game. Next couple of baskets are going to be huge, as you mentioned. And Colleen, that jump shot, he's been good in this fourth quarter and again finds that range. And when he's hitting jump shots like that, Jimmy, as you'll know from playing with him, very difficult to guard. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And when he gets hot like that, he's a... He's a really confident shooter when he does knock a few in there. And given his height and size advantage, he can step out, hit big shots. He's just a tough matchup all around. Moera from the foul line. And Dustin Moera in this fourth quarter hasn't quite been as proficient as he was earlier in the game when they needed him most here. No, that's it. And that's the difference in this game here. Like both Moera and Colleen, both big men, but Jason showing the ability to step outside and hit shots. Gower, good defense, deflects it away. Nine on the shot clock, nine point lead for Temple Oaks. 3.55 to go in the first of the Champions Trophy semi finals. Summers, Murphy open on the three point line. He'll take that. That's close. Look good. Didn't go. Kinnevan tries to make something happen quickly. Moreira inside to the open Higgins. Great pass in from UCD. And they're just hanging around at the moment, Jimmy. Yeah, they're still in there with three and a half minutes left. As he's talked about, they just need that two or three basket run to get them within touch and distance going down the stretch here and they could still pinch a win. But Temple Oak, you have to feel still quite confident there as Cummins is off on the three. Rebound from Gao into the hands of Kinnevan. Moera inside, being guarded by Colleen. Good defense from Colleen, nowhere to go. And a bit of a... Bobble here, but still plenty of time on the shot clock. Down to eight now as Meany comes off the screen and roll. They'll have to get something going quick. Kinnevan has the ball. A push off, and it's called a charge. Yeah. So good defense from Summers. Yeah, as you can see, Summers did well to cover the ground there, get back in front of him there. Could have been 50-50, though. He got there, but the refs have given calls that way most of the day today anyway, so... Yeah, it looked like Kinnevan might have just extended his arm a little bit. Which probably convinced 
the referee in the end, Dave Kabai, very experienced referee, 2.50 to go, seven point lead. Interesting to see the UCD are stepping off Lorca Murphy when he gets the ball on the three point line. Colleen, long two, this one bobbles out, but great rebound from Paul Cummins and puts it back in and extends Temple Oaks lead to nine. And now baskets are needed quickly for UCD. And good defense again from Cummins, nearly picks that off. Eleven on the shot clock. Moera, two, doesn't go. And a nine point lead, there'll be no rush for Temple Oak here. No, they'll be looking to burn at least 18, 20 seconds off every offense here, Matt. No, Paul Cummins didn't get that memo. But Paul never did. When he sees an open shot, he's not one to shy away from it. When you can shoot like him, I suppose, why would you? Uh, Higgins, nice pass to Moera. And a timeout called as it's back to a seven-point game, just under two minutes to go. So, under two minutes to go in this Champions Trophy semi-final. It's the league champions, Temple Oak, leading by seven over UCD Marion. Colleen finds a cut in Murphy and wide open, Stephen James. James bobbles out and Marion will have a chance. Kinnivan just managed to keep hold of it, foul called. Yeah, he got jumped there. Hand was left in the ground, but at the other end there, I suppose Stephen James found himself so open there that he was nearly too open. Yeah, it's just left the door slightly ajar for UCD, but they need baskets. Higgins inside to Moera. Nice footwork, but good defense from Colleen. And Moera steps out of bounds, points to the corner. Normally you'd expect someone to be in the corner, but there's no one there, and it'll be a turnover. And UCD now run out of time a little bit. Yeah, yeah the pressure's really on now as the Temple Oak will look to take as much out of this as possible. But UCD have to go early now for the next three, possibly four offenses they do get. Murphy to James, inside the clean. <laughs> the second time around, wanted to call the first time, might go one on the arm, but the second time he did get it, and he'll go to the foul line. Yeah, and I love Jason, he always has that expression on his face, like, did you not see that foul? But uh, he definitely was hacked pretty bad that time, so. He'd be looking to tack on two points. I think with these two free throws, if he makes them, Matt, it'll probably push the game out of sight for UCD. So still to come. Six o'clock tip off, the second semi final. GCD, Sword Thunder. As Colleen misses the first against Trilly Warriors. And then at the Women's Super League playoff final, 8 p.m., Ambassador UCC Glanmire versus Courtyard Lippy Celtics. Eight point lead, a minute to go. A 
And you see taking a lot of time here to get a shot off. Konamini fakes Paul coming for three. This has to go and it does for Mini. We have a call on the floor after the shot. And a foul goes against Colleen. So a three for Mini and they'll get the ball back. No extra free throw like in the NBA. They'll get another possession. So a chance for a five or six point play. And Moreira finds some space inside and Moreira puts it back in. And I'm eating my words here, Matt. They're right back in this game. Well, they're the kind of small things. Colleen picks up the foul and gives them a five point play in one go. So now all of a sudden it's a one possession game. Murphy. Oh, good block from, ba from Garrow and a foul is called as Logan Murphy sits on Konamini. Yeah, Garrow with the volleyball block there. Emphatic with 34 seconds left in possession here. We have a timeout call here on the floor. 64-67 lead in favour of Tempelo. So 34 seconds to go. Temple Oak looked to have this one wrapped up, but a five-point play has meant UCD. And Higgins open for three. Doesn't go. Rebound, Mike Garrow. And UCD are going for the three rather than taking the quick two. Will that be costly? But Moreira, and again, you have to say a couple of bad options there, isn't it? And an intentional foul call. He's the last man. But Jimmy, two costly decisions there. They had yeah, twos and yeah, kicked it out no, for three. Like, with, with, with 34 or 35 seconds left, Matt, to get the ball in and inbounds there and jack the shot straight away from at least a good three foot outside the three point line. Probably wasn't the option that Coach Giannis had uh, in mind. Personally, as a coach, I probably would have preferred, like yourself, to go with the basket, get two, make it a one point game. But uh, yeah, there was two chances Mike Garrow and Dustin Moreira both right underneath the hoop with a chance to go up. Give them two points. Chose to kick it out and end up with a turnover. And uh, Kinnevin had no choice but the foul. So he's on five fouls. So he's gone. Murphy punishes him for the foul line. And now it's Temple Oaks to lose as they lead by five. Yeah, and they, they look to take the last 18 seconds here. That's the game of basketball. There's sometimes a player and have the ball, it's the right decision at the time they make and ultimately it probably hurt the team a little bit there. So, Pup Summers looks to ice the game from the lines. Six point lead, four, six, 15 seconds to go, seven point lead. Joy over, but Jimmy, <laughs> a good game of basketball. The, the better team in the end with it, just more consistent coming down the stretch for, for Temple O. Yeah, I think, I think defensively they probably out rebounded UCD better but uh, they had a lot of turnovers that left UCD in the game and even in the end a couple of silly mistakes so I think the better team won today Matt but it could have been either way to be honest and you see the experience there of the league winners that's why they only lost two games in the league all season so the first team in the Champions Trophy final will be Temple Oog and coming up next is the second semi-final GCD Swords Thunder will play Tralee Warriors two teams in fantastic form tip off 
was due to be eight o'clock. It'll probably be, uh, sorry, six o'clock tip off. So we should tip off on time. So stay with us. We join us for the six o'clock tip off and that will be followed by the women's Super League playoff final at eight o'clock between Ambassador UCC Glanmire and Courtyard Lippy Celtics.